on StarCraft 2. It's going to be released July 27th, and it will of course feature the iconic races from StarCraft. We have the Mobile Terran, they're always awesome. We have the Oh My God Zerg, and then we have the super mega awesome Protoss. You'll notice I didn't put a funny picture in this, it's because Protoss are so awesome. As a matter of fact, I actually have a poster from 1998 that came in a magazine so cool. I am so glad I saved that. I thank myself every day for this. It actually has some pretty awesome uh, explanatory paragraphs on the back displaying early stages of the units in production. Like, uh, I think the Scourge was called an Avenger, uh, and they actually pop up from a Guardian when it dies or some, some craziness. I don't know how that, I don't know how that would have been, but that would have been pretty crazy if they had kept that in there. Um, also, Dropships had uh, Vortex Shop Shock, vortex shock bombs. I am glad they did not put me in charge of their armory because they would be screwed. Um, vortex shock bombs and also a few other pretty cool things. Um, also, it looks like the SCV was made out of a cardboard box. But that just might be how the Terrans like to roll, and it is not my place to judge, as they are wicked resourceful. So, uh, moving along, I actually found some pretty cool uh, stuff also in uh, the original StarCraft manual. I managed to keep this stuff. I know, what are the odds, right? Um... It's an original manual from StarCraft One. It's not one of the little dinky manuals they give you now in the little six-inch tall box. This was back when the boxes were like a foot tall or something. And it's actually got some pretty cool artwork. They've got this uh, this infested Terran here, which you can see. Um, apparently, when you join the the uh, the swarm, they give you all kinds of bling for your rifle and stuff. So that's pretty hip. And also, we have it looks like a marine getting ready to attack a uh, zergling not sure how that's going to go as he is zerglings already really close but hey that's okay um i'm sure that terran is more than able to kill it and i swear these pictures are not magic eye they're not 3d i don't know why my camera actually is probably my fault that it's just a crappy quality for the picture but hey if somebody wants to try it out with a 3d glasses or something if anybody has one of those crazy new nvidia monitors uh go ahead and check it out and post a comment and let me know if you actually uh, can see it in 3d i doubt it but hey whatever um and then finally we have the mighty ultralisk which actually in this picture looks like a giant four-legged mushroom so I don't know, it is Zerg, so I am allowed to rip off one Fungus Among Us joke, and there it was. So, anyways, on to, uh, oh, and here's some guy stuck in a computer. I don't know, probably some early version of YouTube or something. Um, anyways, on to the goals. Um, yes, I did have a lot, a lot of fun making this particular picture. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I would definitely like to see this channel cover pretty much all kinds of games. Um, use map settings, melee, um... There are 4th of July fireworks outside my garage, and it keeps scaring the crap out of me. Um, anyways, there are... Uh, wow, I have no idea. What, oh, yeah. Okay, so, goals of the channel. <laughs> there are going to be use map settings maps, melee maps. There's also going to be some uh, map editor tutorials. And what it's something I'd also like to do is take maps from sites like, say, uh, StarCraftArena.net, uh, which is awesome, by the way. You should go there sometime. And... I'm going to take those maps and kind of give them an analysis for balance um, and also aesthetics as well. Um, I know I've seen a lot of maps put on there that some of them don't have the best balance, some of them don't have the best aesthetics, but you know a lot of them are doing really well in one or the other and the uh, map makers just need to know how to bring it together and uh, complete that finished product. So um, that's definitely going to be the focus of my uh, my channel for now. Oh, and map makers at SCA. Don't worry, I'm not trying to talk against you guys or anything. I'm just saying I'm gonna be able to I'm gonna be able to help you guys with uh, some insight into balance and whatnot. So, don't jump down my throat. I swear I love you guys. Um, anyways, as far as the uh, the channel and what I'm hoping to get from it, um, I'm actually hoping that I will be able to kind of get a little bit more energy in my commentaries as I go along. That's definitely something that I really appreciate in some of the commentaries we have now, especially Husky. He just goes bat poop crazy in his, which is definitely something that I want to work on, and I feel that that would definitely bring a lot of energy into the game. So like I said, that's something that's going to be my focus, um, especially after I'm more comfortable with the uh, with the commentating um, back end, like the uh, rendering and whatnot. So, um, also, I, uh, I'm hoping to kind of incorporate, I'm a little bit socially awkward, and uh, <laughs> sometimes I say just stuff kind of off the wall, and I'm hoping to kind of incorporate that in a, in a funny way into my commentary. So it's kind of energetic, kind of funny, you know, good times are had, and at the end of the day, you feel better for you. You feel 
happy that you watch my videos. So anyways, that is going to wrap up um, this introduction. I'm going to actually be going on vacation here uh, this week. I'm going on a four-day drive through the Oregon backcountry, and it's going to be extremely epic. I will hopefully have some pictures up on uh, SCA when I get back. And you guys, go ahead and watch my videos, leave some comments, subscribe if you can, and I'll, if you have any constructive criticism um, or compliments, just go ahead and leave them, and I will see you guys later.